Hey YouTube, New Age Muscle coming at you with just another video. And in this one, we're taking a look at my 2024 Silverado. Uh, this one happens to be non-equipped with the black pow ties. And I am not a fan of the gold. Uh, so typically if I don't get a vehicle with the black one, I like to uh, black it out myself. And one of the ways I found easiest since we went to kind of like the neural surface on here is to use plasti dips so i'm going to show you so what i found to kind of be some of the best techniques for this because i know there's a lot of videos out there but i think what i found here seems to work the best for me and maybe you can get some pointers from it so i'm not going to do this in real time i'm going to kind of pause it along the way but the first thing i'm going to suggest is like anything if you're painting it uh in this case even with plasti dip make sure you clean that surface thoroughly i'm just going to use some uh, rubbing alcohol for this uh, don't go too heavy because I've done that in the past and I've let alcohol settle uh, between the gold and the chrome there and that's caused problems already. So stand by. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is mask around the, the gold bow tie uh, with some type of painter's tape. I find the frog tape to work really good for me. Uh, now when you do this, the key I found is don't worry about trying to get right along the edge. You're going to let the plasti dip do the work for you and i'll demonstrate what i mean by that in just a moment okay so here's a look at uh part one of the masking process so you can kind of see what i meant there i'm not going right up to the gold because i'm going to let the plasti dip do the work for me uh, because there's actually a little valley or channel between where the gold and chrome meet and that's what's going to allow us to peel off that plasti dip and just let it remain on the gold. So the second thing I'm gonna do is I picked up this 0.7 millimeter drop cloth at uh, Home Depot, and we're gonna use this to kind of overlay everything now, just to prevent any type of overspray from getting on the rest of the vehicle, just to make cleanup a lot easier. And I'll, I'll show you what those results look like. Okay, so here's a look so far with just uh, the plastic over the front. What I'm gonna do now is just slice a little, uh, kind of a little cut here right by the bow tie and then tape everything back to the green painter's tape. And as I said, this is really about just making cleanup easy so I can just pull everything off all in one shot. Okay, so here's a look at my final masking. Um, you can see I just kind of cut a slit in there and kind of pulled everything back around the bow tie. So the next phase is going to be preparation for the Plasti Dip. And I'm gonna show you something I've learned over the years doing this that a lot of the videos don't really get into. And that has to do with this heating the actual Plasti Dip itself. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by then, just a moment. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is take a look at the preparation for the Plasti Dip. And this is something I've done wrong many times in the past is if you've ever used Plasti Dip, it can come out kind of clumpy, kind of thick, especially depending on the temperature. So what I saw in a video is to take the Plasti Dip and put it in a bucket like this of very hot water and let it sit. And I will actually let it sit between the coats. And what that does for you is it's going to thin the material out in here. And when it comes out the nozzle, it's going to come out more of almost like an aerosol, like a paint versus coming out very clumpy. And I'll show you exactly what I mean when I put the first coat on. Okay, so I let the uh, Plasti Dip sit in the material, in the hot water, I should say, uh, for approximately five minutes just to, as I said, thin out the material. I always like to clear the nozzle, kind of tip it upside down here and just spray. And you can already see just how much thinner that comes out when it's heated up like that. Now, as for your first coat, make sure you put it on really light. You want just a transparent coating on here. That's it. But when you're doing this, make sure you cover the chrome as much as you do the gold because you need to have coverage there thick enough to be able to grab material when we're finally done. This is, a, I'm gonna do a very light coat here. And you can see I'm, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting the chrome as well. 
Not worried about getting it on there because that's where the Plasti Dip is gonna do the work for me. So very thin, transparent coat. I'm gonna wait a few minutes between coats, maybe five minutes or so. I'm not gonna really time it. I'm gonna base it on the coverage and how heavy I put it on. I typically like to do maybe four to five coats. And then from there, uh, we'll start doing the peeling. So stand by. All right. Okay, so here's a look at uh, the second coat. Put it on a little bit heavier this time, but you can see how I'm taking the coverage right onto the chrome itself. I'm kind of doing the exact same thing over here on this vehicle. So at this point, I'm gonna wait till I don't see any glossiness. I want that to dry up before I start putting another coat onto it. Okay, so here's a look after four coats. Last coat, I went a little bit heavier, uh, but what I want you to notice if you can see between the gold and where the chrome was, you can see there's that little valley or that break in between the two. And that's why you really don't need to worry about taping right up to the gold. Because as you pull, we're gonna be pulling the area that's covered in, uh, the chrome area that's covered. And once it hits that little break, it's not gonna pull the Plasti Dip that's on the gold bow tie. So I'll let this dry up and we'll start removing any of the plastic. All right, so here we are. It's uh, dry enough to pull off right now, so that's really what I'm looking for. It's just making sure all the gloss is gone and we got the matte finish there. So I'm going to start taking off the plastic here, and we'll start removing the Plasti Dip and show you how it's going to come out. Okay, so here's a look at it after I've, I've pulled off uh, the plastic and the tape, and you can see already how it's kind of starting to take shape a little bit. I'm not going to do all this on camera. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea, you can see why I said to go on to the chrome area. And that's mainly so you have material that you can grab with your fingers. And you can see even here I got a little overspray. That's where I went a little bit thinner. So in a case like that, that'll rub right off with your finger. But you want to at least have enough material you can come over here and grab. And as I do this, let's see if I can get it started. You can see what's left behind. You get pretty much a kind of a razor edge here. And this is not the easiest thing to do with one hand, but uh, I think you'll get the idea here. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'll show you the, the finished product when I get done. Okay, so here's a look at the finished product. So I don't know how the camera's capturing this, but it looks absolutely flawless as well as the one you would buy for I believe over $200 from uh, Chevy directly. And this literally cost me maybe about $10 to do because I had pretty much everything existing. $5 can of Plasti Dip, some painter's tape, and just a small, thin 7 millimeter tarp. So that's about it. So if you like the video, thank you for watching.